Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hard for Games channel. I am your host, Tony, and a couple of weeks ago, we covered a development Game Boy Advance cartridge of an RPG made by Atlas that was unannounced and definitely unreleased. So today, I wanna to cover a couple of new areas, some glitches, a debug feature that was explained to me that I didn't fully understand before, and of course, your theories as to what this game actually is. So cheers, let's get started. So for anyone coming into this video without watching the first one, I highly recommend that you start there. I cover the cartridge itself, its similarities to the Devil Children series, it's very unlikely that it's a Devil Children or Demi Kids game, but it's built off of one, and just I cover a ton of info in general. So please, if you haven't checked that one out, I'm going to put a little card above, link in the description below, do that one first then jump to this one. So as we begin, I wanted to thank MyRetropop.com once again for lending us this cartridge. A little bit more about MyRetropop.com at the end of the video. And also, big thank you to Push Dustin of Source Gaming for doing a lot of the translations and sort of guiding me through uh, a lot of the information regarding this particular cartridge uh, and kind of guiding me through the debug menu because of course, I don't speak Japanese and he does. So he was very, very helpful. Thank you very much, sir. So. What we see here is an area that I didn't cover last time. Dustin explained to me that there were a few otherwise inaccessible areas hidden within the map select. So let's continue exploring. Now I'm gonna do a lot less talking in this episode compared to the first one and more focus on the scenery, just in general. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the music. Except that you can't really enjoy the music because the encounter rate is so high that it constantly interrupts the music. Every five steps or so, you jump back into a battle, but luckily there's a one-button escape from battle, but it just, it, it's a mess, but here we are. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Enjoy. So here's an item that I misunderstood last time uh, regarding the map placement menu. It allows you to actually set coordinates. Last time, I just kind of landed in a corner and didn't understand why. So. Here's an example. I'm going to go ahead. I want to get to the side over here that I can't cross because of the water. So I just go ahead and enter the menu and change my X axis. Here's a few other places where I utilize it to leave the normal path, but I normally just get stuck. Now, another thing I didn't really focus on in the last episode is just how wonky and underdeveloped the battles are. Most of the time you miss your target, and your enemies actually go to the far side of the screen to attack you, or attack themselves. I don't really know what's happening here, because oftentimes with, if like a character heals themselves in an RPG, it's like a different color compared to when they're hurt. So they go off to the side and there's like a number, so I don't know if they're hurting themselves, or they're healing themselves, or if that number associates to you. I have no idea what's happening here. and sometimes they just get stuck in a loop. When this happens, it's time to reset. The one button escape from battles does not work when this occurs, and it happens a lot.
and this will be a treat for everyone that understands and can read Japanese. Here's a new town that we found, so let's go ahead and see if there are any hints that the NPCs can give us. So here's the really interesting part, your speculation. Most of you thought that this, of course, had nothing to do with Devil Children, which I agree. In the last video, the art style was different. This is more sort of medieval, you know, knights in shining armor, fighting with a sword, whereas Devil Children was more modern day, urban, uh, fighting via a demon familiar, just unrelated. But possibly built off and utilizing some of the same assets as Book of Fire, Book of Vice. Most of you said that it was probably some unannounced, unreleased reimagining or remake of Last Bible. Just like Devil Children, I'm not super familiar with Last Bible, uh, but I'm trying to learn more so I can understand this a little bit better. So I appreciate everyone's patience. Uh, but some of you said, nope, no way. This is a totally original RPG. This probably has nothing to do with Last Bible. However, those people were in the minority. The majority of people think it's some sort of a Last Bible-related game. So, let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know if, you know, especially if you speak Japanese, if any of the NPCs dropped any hints as to what this could possibly be. I'm definitely curious to hear your speculation. Aside from that, I appreciate all of you watching, subbing, clicking that notification button. If you are new to the channel, we do content like this all the time. In addition to live streams, reviews, all that good stuff, retro gaming goodness. I have some Wii dev kits. We're doing a Virtual Boy video soon. We do all sorts of stuff from that era. So either way, if that stuff interests you, stick around because there's definitely more coming and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you once again to MyRetroPop.com. It is an eBay store focusing on retro gaming goodness, including development cartridges just like this one. In fact, I think that this one is actually up on his store right now. So if you're interested in checking that out, please click the link in the description below. See you all next time.